Let's check how many subscribers I've gained. Wow, that's that's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, my sub growth and views have not been very good recently, which is quite a contradiction to how well my individual videos have been doing. My individual videos have actually been getting more views than they ever have before. So clearly what's happening is my past videos are simply decreasing in the amount of views that they receive, which is not really an issue for me. In terms of sub growth, uh, I, let me just check my actual analytics, my official YouTube analytics. On this day, I gained one sub, and a lot of people are probably just going to expect me to only gain one sub, which pretty much means that 29 new people came in and 28 idiots unsubscribed. <laughs> because why I mention this at the start of my video is because I know a lot of people are going to try to attack my channel. They're going to be like, oh my god, Cameron, your channel's so dead. And maybe it appears that way. But quite frankly, looking at my channel, I I'm still gaining a good amount of subs. I'm just losing a lot as well. And the reason why I'm actually losing quite a few subscribers is mostly because I've changed my content. And also I've become a lot less careful about the things I say. I've been a lot more controversial. And that's good because I, I think it's better for me to be honest and controversial and make content that I actually enjoy rather than make content that I don't particularly enjoy and I try to pussyfoot around my opinions so people support them and don't unsubscribe. Today though, I wanted to read some people's comments uh, in the comment section on my videos. Uh, if you're someone who supports my channel and you actually care about me, don't worry, my channel will do well eventually. I know how YouTube works. Uh, my channel slumps, it gets back up, it slumps, it gets back up. It'll probably be quite a while until it picks up speed again. But you know what? It doesn't matter. My channel, you know, I still get a lot of views and I still make money off my content. And I really love making videos. So that's really all that matters. So I wanted to read some comments on my channel, some hate comments. I wanted to argue against them. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. I'm really desperate for new subscribers, guys. Yeah, actually, I'm not really desperate for new subscribers. I'm more desperate for people to not unsubscribe. <laughs> that would be great. As a YouTuber, you can click on the comment section on your YouTube channel and you can read all your comments from every single one of your videos in order. So that's what I'm going to be doing, not reading all of them. So I actually made a video today, a really good video, a video that you guys should definitely watch. Titled, I like Jake Paul, question mark. In brackets, why Jake Paul will win against Deji in the Deji versus Jake Paul boxing match. So in this video, I reacted to the press conference and I talked about why Jake Paul performed way better at the press conference, which he objectively did. Uh, Deji was a complete idiot at this conference. So the video was completely correct. It was a funny video, probably one of my best videos. Yeah, I got a lot of people in the comments who were very against it. Uh, this video has barely been up. Like, it's a 19-minute video, and I was getting hate comments on it five minutes after it was released. So clearly, lots of people didn't actually watch the video and thus just have this agenda against me, rather than actually commenting on the video, which is what they should be doing. So let's read some of these comments. And the reason why I've all got angry, I believe, is because of the title saying, I, I like Jake Paul. I, I did that deliberately. I put that in the title deliberately just to annoy people because it's funny. I find it funny. I don't know why. So this guy commented the worst comment I think I've seen in the comment section for a while. You're just supporting the white because you're white. Now, in the video, I talked about how I didn't support Deji. Deji, not JJ. Like, this guy is making out like I only support white people. Even though I support KSI more than Logan Paul, who I believe is black. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. And also, I'm not supporting them because I'm white. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I, I think this person's trying to just pull out the race card. You don't like KSI and Deji because you're a racist. Unfortunately, I'm not a racist. I believe in equality. That's one of the main reasons why I'm not religious. So this guy clearly has no substance in his argument. You talk about Deji being short and skinny. You know, I never even called Deji skinny. This guy's clearly not even watched the video. I called him short, but like that's not wrong. And he says, yet yeah, look at you. I'm tall. So it doesn't matter. And I never even called him skinny. So it's just stupid. Sorry, but you're wrong, pal. No, I'm not. What, what are you on about? Like, seriously, I made a video. I made a video reacting to the press conference. And I talked about why Jake Paul did better at the press conference. Now, the only reason why this guy's saying I'm wrong is because I have an unpopular opinion. 
I don't have the popular opinion. If I had the popular opinion, I wouldn't bother making the video because it's clearly not that interesting. Then this guy commented, nobody likes Jake Paul, leave! You got it the wrong way round, man. If you don't support my opinion, you know what you should do if you're smart? Comment. Go, hi Cameron, I don't agree with you because of this. That's all you should do. You shouldn't get really triggered and write, leave! And then unsub or something like that. That's ridiculous, like just because you disagree with my opinions. I even mentioned in the video how I was trying to be devil's advocate because no one was supporting Jake Paul and I wanted to support him to see what the reaction would be like and this is how it turned out. <laughs> so I made a video a while back on She With A C. I reacted to her channel because a lot of people said it was funny and I would enjoy it and a lot of people wanted me to react to her channel. I was open-minded in this video. Uh, I admittedly, I don't watch a lot of YouTube in my free time anyway, so I find a lot of YouTubers cringy and bad anyway, uh, including my own content sometimes. But pretty much what happened is uh, I got a lot of dislikes on this video straight away and I actually checked some of the comments and I realized that she with a C, she called out this video. It was it was from yesterday anyway uh, and it quotes, this kid legit has some kind of death wish for me, STG. What does STG stand for? Swear to God. Oh, okay. Clearly, I have a death wish against you. I don't like her. That doesn't mean I have a death wish uh, against her because, you know, I don't want her to die. I just kind of want her to not be on YouTube, you know. <laughs> but I, I don't get it. I make a video that's clearly made for comedic purposes. She retweets a tweet that someone left. GCSE failure tries to be funny. It's the title of my video. Please, it takes 10 seconds. Go and dislike this video because he's pure trash. Exactly. People cannot find other people funny. I make a video saying that I don't find her funny. I show my reaction to her videos proving that I don't find her funny. And I explain why I don't like her content because people told me to. And then this person's saying, ow, this person, this person doesn't find her funny. Dislike this video now. Flipping, it's ridiculous. It's a comedic video. Okay. So just shut up. Like, don't take it so flipping seriously. Like, you can dislike the video. I don't care. I really don't. A channel based off being unnecessarily rude. Wow, how creative. We love good content. You know, this is the thing. I understand where people come from. They go, oh, Cameron, your channel's based off reaction videos. You didn't make it yourself. And you know what? I can see why people, ignorant people, would think that if they've not actually watched a lot of my videos. But here's the thing that's hypocritical about it, and I hate the term hypocritical, because people like to throw it at me. Oh, Cameron, I used to find you funny, but now you're a hypocrite. And I'm just thinking to myself, what, what did I do that was hypocritical? I don't know. It, it, it's just ridiculous, because sh this person would never criticise late night shows. Uh, they don't make reactions, but instead, they talk rudely about people and events. No one seems to criticise that. And also, they, they like to phrase it as in, it's unnecessarily rude. It's it's a it's a comedic channel. It's made to make people laugh. I get a lot of similar comments to this one, so I'm gonna read it out and I'll talk about it. Not hating, but if you're over six foot or close to it, you should be like 170 plus, aren't you like 120? So pretty much because I've made a lot of videos uh, reacting to eating YouTubers and Amberlynn Reed, that's probably one reason why my channel grew so quickly. Um, because of that, a lot of people in the comments have been very obsessed with weight and being healthy, etc, etc. So I get a lot of comments saying, oh, Cameron, you're underweight. And yeah, that is true. I'm actually underweight and I'm actually doing something about it. I'm doing a lot more muscle workouts and I'm eating a lot more calories, healthy calories, though, in hopes to gain weight. And I have actually gained weight because of it. I'm actually closer to 140 pounds now, which is, well, I used to be about 130 pounds. So I have gained about 10 pounds, which is good. I actually used to be 120 at six foot. I remember now. Uh, but yeah, I, I've actually made an effort to try to be healthier. And I definitely feel a lot better in myself because of that. But I got a lot of people still saying that I'm underweight. And I am still underweight, technically. But give me a break, for God's sake. I, I, I'm still growing. I'm not even 17 years old yet. Uh, admittedly, for someone who's over six foot, they should be about 170 pounds somewhat. And he's about six foot and he's healthy. But uh, yeah, for me, I probably should be heavier. I will be heavier in the future, but now I'm not. Like, that, that just makes sense because of my age. So, yeah, I got a lot of comments like that. 
Alameo, you don't understand this song at all. So I made this video recently in which I reacted to Ariana Grande's God is a Woman song. And oh my god, I, I got so many hate comments on this video. Not even hate comments. I got people criticizing me unfairly. Uh, for example, uh, something that I found funny is how this guy who's actually in my physics class. And he called me very ignorant and stupid. This guy's unironically failing physics. Like, he got a U in the mock, so him calling me stupid is completely redundant, okay, and very hypocritical. And my main man, Isha, replied uh, with a with a grammatic correction. Thank you very much, Isha, you completely defended me there. Uh, but he pretty much called me stupid because apparently I didn't understand the music video. Uh, even though, if you actually watch this video, I, I talk about how I anticipate that it's all about sex, right? But I tried to see it in a different perspective simply because every song seems to be about sex. And I found it surprising how Ariana Grande made another song about, you know, sex. That just seems absolutely ridiculous. But she did because she's unoriginal. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am really down about how my YouTube channel is performing. Um... Not, not because I'm an emotional person and not because I can't contain my emotions, but simply because I feel like I put a lot of time into YouTube and the fact that when I feel like my videos are the best that they've ever been and I feel like I'm really trying and it seems like my channel's doing worse and worse every day and that's a horrible feeling. I understand that it's, you know, normal for a channel to do this. It's happened to me before. But it still makes me really down about it. So if you're someone who watches my content and you watch every single day or watch most of my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'm too tough on myself though. I can't believe that I'm angry at myself for only getting thousands of views on my channel per, per video. That's something that I would have wished for a year ago. And the fact that I've got it now and I'm down about it really shows how corrupt I'm thinking right now, which is not good. But I really do appreciate it if you watch my content regularly. I really do. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Sub if you're new and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.